Welcome to the Gamer Jets Duo Podcast number 11. Uh, we're here. We have a lot to talk about. My name is TB Stack, but you can call me Teddy. I'm one of your hosts along with... Me, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, was, I was like... <laughs> there you go. Take it away. <laughs> Take it away. So, Eric, otherwise known as Legend PVM, he's here. He has uh, orange hair. That's like pretty a, usual. Like a carrot. And face is red as a strawberry. It's a strawberry. <laughs> yep. Or a Dr. Pepper can. Oh, yeah. Oh, that actually works really well. Yeah. Okay. Um. Sponsor. Sponsor. <laughs> Sponsor. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, man. I haven't had a Dr. Pepper probably in my whole life. Yeah. Probably my whole life. Actually, re- oh, when was this? Like a year ago or something? You know, I, I always tell people that I've that I don't drink soda just because I don't mm-hmm. like carbonation. So I just, I right. just haven't had soda since I was like 10 or something. And, and what as somebody that I was telling that to was like, Whoa, do you really, what was the last time you tried? And I was like, I don't know. Years ago. He's like, here, try this Dr. Pepper, bro. I was, <laughs> like, I was like, all right, man, it's totally red. No, if it was Mountain <laughs> Dew, we'd be talking like that. But, uh, so I tried yeah. the Dr. Pepper and still, no, it's, I yeah, don't know. I just don't like the carbonation. I'm weird. All right. But uh, it it tasted. Well, I'm not gonna lie. It tasted pretty bland. So I I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, you know, to you people that are enjoying it, g- good good job. Have fun with your <laughs> dang Dr Pepper. I guess I don't know. Yeah. Um. Gosh so you gosh <laughs> you gosh dang darn. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So early in the week last week, news broke. <laughs> That uh, Sony Online Entertainment, that the people that create uh, H1Z1, yeah. EverQuest, EverQuest 2, EverQuest Next, freaking Planet Side 2, uh, DC Universe Online. Sony Entertainment. Uh, I think that's no. all of them. Uh, uh, Neverwinter? No, Neverwinter. No, Neverwinter is somebody oh, else. Oh, yeah. I wish it was Neverwinter, though, because then we'd have it on PS4 instead of the Xbox One right. beta. There's an Xbox One beta going on of Neverwinter right now. Really? Can't really what? report. It. Yeah, I can't really report on that. I don't have an Xbox One, but I would if I if I had an Xbox One, I would be trying that. So yeah, I had money on Xbox that's, One. That's a thing. That's a thing. Uh, I, from what I heard, people are liking it. It ports over decently. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. The big thing is that Smite's gonna be coming to Xbox One, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Uh, Not on the PS4. See. <laughs> yeah. Uh, investment firm Columbus Nova has acquired Sony Online Entertainment. This is by an IGN, an IGN article by Mike Mahardy. The company announced today that Sony Online Entertainment has been rebranded and the studio is now known as Daybreak Game Company, LLC. LLC is very important in that. Um, Daybreak will operate as an independent game development studio under the new title i didn't start the timer <laughs> title uh, we'll operate uh, whatever we see the tremendous <laughs> opportunities for growth <laughs> with the expansion of the company's game portfolio through multi-platform offerings as well as an exciting portfolio of new quality games coming up including the recently launched h1z1 and the highly anticipated everquest next to be released in the near future so I don't have the Reddit article, but there was a Reddit article that was where they were basically like multi-platform, and yes, that means Xbox One. So, mm. all you Xbox One people out there, you get games from Sony games. Online Entertainment now. You get H One Z One, you get that DC Universe. You got you got all sorts of things on there. And eventually, Planet Side. And eventually, EverQuest Next as well, supposedly. Supposedly. Dude. Don't believe that's gonna happen, but. I believe it'll happen, but I believe it'll happen like two years after the game Dude, launched on PC. I thought I'm pretty sure EverQuest Next is going to be like a really big game. Yeah. MMOs. Yeah, I think it will. Cause, I mean, it's gonna be the whale killer. Ugh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's what I, said about, oh, I that's just said whale. Well. Wars too. That's what they said about uh, everything. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, no. Dude, I'm excited for. Um, well, no, I'm not excited. But Elder Scrolls Online is also. I don't if we've ever covered this it's not recent i think it was like two or three weeks ago but elder scrolls online is being rebranded into elder scrolls tamriel unlimited 
And it's basically like Guild really? Wars, where you buy it once and then you can play it without a subscription. Yeah, I like that. Which, yeah, I'm down with. But, uh, yeah. So that's coming to PS4 and Xbox One. Oh, oh, I think there's actually a release date. Let me look. Outer Scrolls. I'm going to guess, like, May or something. Tamriel. That sounds about right. Release date. ESO headed to ESO headed to heads to consoles June 9th from ElderScrollsOnline.com. So, pretty hmm. official source, if you ask me. Um, yeah, Tamriel. Yeah, it comes with all the stuff that has been put in to to date. You know. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I'm so curious of how it's gonna go about. It was supposed to be out a year ago, so I don't, I don't know, and I don't have much interest in the Elder Scrolls universe and MMOs. Mostly, I, I jump in and play for a bit because of the universe, and this universe doesn't even like really, isn't my thing. So I'm, I don't know if I'm even gonna buy it. But yeah. a lot of people are, I bet. A lot of people are. Um, let's see. They're like, it's a Skyrim that I can play with my friends. Whoa. And they're going to jump on. They're going to play. But let's see. Back to Sony Online Entertainment. The company was bought. I thought they would have a number for what it was bought for. But it doesn't look like it. No. It doesn't look like it. We're excited to join Columbus Nova's impressive roster of companies, said John Smedley, president of Daybreak Game Company, which they are now being called. In a recent tweet... The president also said he can't wait to make Xbox One games following the acquisition and that all of SOE's existing games are still under Daybreak's care and will continue to be. So, H1Z1 launched early access January 15th and it will it is planned to be out on consoles soon. <laughs> Air quotes. Soon. Yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> have, have fun waiting, everyone on console. I really <laughs> want to play that game, though. I, I, I really yeah. do. I really do. Once Ryan gets his PC. <coughs> oh, oh gosh. gosh. <laughs> oh, random choking. Be, like, you know how we always, like... <coughs> I'm sure if Ryan had a PC, like, a, a decent PC like us, we, we would have all gotten Dying Light on PC, maybe. Um, maybe no, not. I would not have. But other games, you know. Most mostly games that you can't get on PS4. I would be I would be playing the crap out of. He would play Nazgoth with us. He could play mm -hmm. Counter Strike Go. He could play Smite. He could play Dungeon Defenders. He could play Gary's Mod for the first time. And oh, it'd be oh great. Gosh. It'd be great. It'd be a fun Dude, time. Gary's Mod is so fun for like a while because you can just goof around. It really is. Like it's it's a lot of fun for a while. But I just haven't. I don't know. How many hours do I have in Gary's Mod? <laughs> Thir I have, oh wow only 30 i thought oh my gosh dude like you know where it says you have however many friends who play gary's mod or yeah. whatever <laughs> it's like everyone on my friends list, oh my gosh, it's dude, a giant I have, list. I have, yeah same here i it's have like 19 friends i have 16 <laughs> and like see let's go to let's go to another game dungeon defenders nine nazca <laughs> nine cs go 11 yeah, this mod's probably the biggest one out of this, I bet. Yeah. One with AC2. Three with Age of Empires 2. One with uh, Batman Arkham Origins. Yeah, Gary's mod is definitely the biggest one. <laughs> Seed loadout. Nine with Loadout. Four with Lotro. Um, two with Sonic All-Stars, which is an awesome game. Uh, <laughs> how have you played South Park The Stick of Truth? What do you mean? I bought it like in. The... Oh yeah, I forgot you bought it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The winter okay. sale. Yeah, you bought it in the Steam sale. Let's see. Four I barely with speed touched runners, it. Though. Four with super hexagon. Oh wait, Team Nine Fortress Two. Twenty oh, friends. Oh, I gotta yeah. look at that. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a good competitor. Mine's only sixteen, so it doesn't top Gary's mod on mine. Uh... <laughs> GG. Nice try, yeah. Valve. You don't win this time, even though we're <laughs> using your platform to talk about this. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's see. Let me see if I can pull up an article about this. The You know, there are many shows, there are many DC shows rumored 
to be coming, and one Gosh. of which is a show we, called. We don't have enough time to watch them. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. <laughs> one of which is called Titans. Like they're not even calling it Teen Titans, which I don't know why they're just calling it Titans. But there is, there was. Maybe I don't know. they're like. Maybe not, not teens. Maybe they're maybe they're middle aged Titans. <laughs> they're not gonna put. They're not gonna call Titans. <laughs> 60, 50 year old, just fifty year old Robin still in his Robin suit. It's like Mermaid Man, Barnacle Boy. Um, mm -hmm. I will find this. I have articles from almost everything else, but for this, I thought I would Google it real quick. <laughs> um, wow, I type in Titans cast on Google, and what comes up is Remember the Titans cast. Wow. And it's like, and it's like the auto-filled Google thing, really, yeah. <laughs> like that. Um, let's go to news and see if it pops up. Yeah, live-action Titans cast <laughs> reveal. I know pretty much all of them, but I don't. I don't want to get anything wrong. Um, a representative from Warner Bros. TV declined comment on this Titans cast report. So this is definitely. It seems just a rumor. It seems like somebody from the inside leaked it or something, but they they haven't confirmed it yet. But this is what it... I, I'd say there's a 65% chance of this being the cast. To be yeah. Honest. Um, Dick Grayson, who is going to be working as Robin originally, but during the series he's going to eventually transform into Nightwing. Um, Barbara Gordon, who is going to be wheelchair-bound. She's basic, She's going to be Oracle. Which is awesome. Um, let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Hawk and Dove, which are the unexpected ones out of this, are like really old characters from. Um, they they were Teen Titans back in the day. I'm fairly sure. Don't fully know. Don't quote me that. Don't quote me on that. But they're like, I I believe they're like brother and sister. I don't really fully know their power, but I can pull up a picture of them real quick. To show people, because I don't, I don't really, I don't really know anything about these guys, but I don't know. I feel like that's honestly a really good way to do it, because they'll be like the the wild card. Nobody will know what they're about, and they can just do whatever the frick they want to with them. So let's hmm. see. Yeah, here's a picture, Hawk and Dove, right there. There's a there's a light blue one, there's a red one, and they look like birds, and the, there we go. <laughs> Let's see. Does it say powers in the Wikipedia thing? It doesn't seem to. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like it'll be interesting, though. Um, Raven and Starfire are also part of the cast. So it's uh, Robin... Hawk and Dove, Raven and Starfire, and Barbara Gordon. Um, I feel like there was another one in here that I'm missing, but that's all this article says. So, so far, I, I'm kind of okay with this cast, but I'd, I'd like one more. One more. Either Red Arrow, um, Kid Flash, or Cyborg, or Beast Boy. One of those... Toss them in there. Yeah. I don't get what Beast Boy is. Yeah. yeah, I want to see Beast Boy, man. That's you know what? Honestly, I, I could care less about the others. They'd be cool, but I want Beast, Beast Boy, Boy in here. I want Beast yeah. Boy in here. Yeah. So that's the, <laughs> that's the cast. I don't know what to say about that. That'll be interesting. Yeah. I feel like that shows. I feel like you know, there's Supergirl rumored, and there's Titans, which isn't rumored, but it's official. Actually, both of these are official, but Supergirl is happening and titans is happening i feel like supergirl is gonna happen way sooner they've already cast yeah. supergirl they've already cast well, power girl oh gosh gosh dang it <laughs> we played dc universe and eric is now obsessed with power girl it's just a running <laughs> joke now yeah <laughs> he's, just, he's not fully obsessed with power girl mm. unless unless he is which mm. he might be i don't know anything about power girl <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> So let us know what you guys think of the Titans cast. Um, let's see here. Um, the new Fifty Two imprint. Yeah, you know. that's what I. W that's also what I was gonna say. Speaking of DC news, sort of, kind of segue. Um, <laughs> there was a. I'm gonna find Andrew's article about it because his was the more complete one. Um, I just found the IGN one. Yeah, Andrew's article actually has more info on it. 
Hmm. Um, so, let's see. DC is officially ending the new 52. They yeah. are rebooting, or ending, and then recreating. They're ending 25 series and making 25, or... They're ending, like, 25 and making, like, 24 or something like that. Yeah. Um, but... How many... There's a decent amount that are staying. 25 are ongoing, like they're continuing ones that are already right. out. And 24 are new. So, let's see here. I am on HeroicUniverse.com, which has a more complete list. Um, Let's see here. So, Green Arrow's continuing, but they're not really rebooting it. There's going to be a new creative team, which is good. Because most of Green Arrow's creative teams is bad, but there's one with Jeff Lemire and I couldn't rem- I can't remember the other guy's name, but whoever the team was for Volume Four, in Green Arrow, was freaking awesome. Because Volume One, Two, and Three were just very no. Volume One and Two were eh, and then Three was just freaking crap. It was just a pile of steaming poop. I'm sorry, whoever wrote it, but it was bad. And, uh, yeah. And then Volume 4. Oh, Volume 4 was so good. It's like one of my favorite comics ever. But <laughs> let's see here. Teen Titans. What's interesting to me is that Teen Titans is continuing. Even though he, like, they're technically, like, they've been, there's been a announcement that they're going to reboot Teen Titans in June. And this is happening in June. So this is the rebooting Teen Titans that they're that's in the ongoing list. Still hmm. get how that works, but maybe that's they're weird. rebooting it like a week before all these new ones come out. <laughs> that would be weird. Uh, Wonder Woman's continuing Superman and Wonder Woman Superman, New Suicide Squad, Sinestro, blah, blah, blah. Green Arrow, Gotham, Gotham Academy, Flash, Deathstroke, Cat... Uh, I don't get why they're still going with Catwoman. Batman and Superman, Grayson is still going, Green Lantern, Harley Quinn. One of the biggest things to notice out of all of these is that freaking there isn't going to be like nine series of Green Arrow and or yeah. Green Lantern and nine series of Batman, <laughs> which there was. There was a ridiculous amount of Batman and Green Lantern stuff, hmm. which was dumb. Like you'd go into the comic book store and there'd be like, there's like Batman and Superman, Batman Batman the Dark Knight, Batman Detective Comics, <laughs> Batman and Robin, Batman, uh, wow. and then original Batman. Yeah, there was, there was a lot of them. Um, and it was pretty much the same with Green Lantern. Some interesting, really awesome, awesome stuff on the new stuff, which, honestly, this is good news because it'll make me, like, start and follow them as they come out. Like, they'll come out every month or whatever, and I'll just pay two bucks for, like, a series, and it's awesome. I'm so excited, especially for Teen Titans. But this one as well. They're, what This is on the list of new ones. Batman Beyond, which is really freaking cool. Black Canary. <laughs> um, Cyborg is getting his own freaking standalone, which is really cool. What? Cyborg Ooh. was the only Justice League member that didn't have a standalone series, so now he does. Yeah. Um... Dark Universe, don't know what that is. Wow, there's a series called Harley Quinn slash Power Girl. <laughs> what? GG. Um, Red Hood and uh, Arsenal. Right. Starfire, which really kind of threw me off when I read that. Starfire mm-hmm. is getting her own standalone. Okay. You know, it's, it's still cool. There's one called We Are Robin, which I feel like is going to have, like, it's going to be like, Maybe rotating between different stories of the different Robins, which would be awesome. It kind of makes me think that Robin is just in like a Toys R Us, sitting there checking out people's stuff because we are Robin, Toys R Us. Wow. 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 (laughs) Yeah, it it's not spelled with just an R. There's an A R E. (laughs) But uh, oh. Also, you know what I just realized while I was going through this list? This is the uh, Gamergen's Duo podcast. We're an entertainment and gaming podcast. Yep. And partially Destiny and partially PlayStation. So, yeah. We're, we're two buds that talk about nerdy stuff. Anyways, yeah. there there's the intro 20 minutes into the podcast. <laughs> Finally being done. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. 
Justice League of America. Of America. America. Um, Bizarro. Getting his own series. Okay, then. Martian Manhunter is also getting his own series, which is kind of awesome. Um, there's one called Robin, Son of Batman. Maybe that's totally about Damien, which I don't fully keep up because I thought Damien was dead. Dead Damien. But Damien. apparently not. I don't know. They bring people back all the time. Yeah. I'm down with that. I'm down with this. How many times has Wolverine died? (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) Probably. Dude, I don't know anything about Marvel comics. Yeah, I know. I know nothing. Um, Dude, they've... Apparently, Marvel has, like, killed Wolverine off several thousand. And isn't he one of the ones that's, like, really hard to kill? And they still are, like, going out of their way to kill him? (laughs) It's not just, like, a bullet to the head type thing. He has to really somebody has to really yeah. try to kill him cut off his cut his limbs off and burn him yeah. fire. yeah yeah man gosh um man wolverine that is that is an intense dude like he can yeah. still stay alive with all his limbs off i'm at like right. like all his limbs off and he's still like in pain he but he's back. alive and he grows them back not a big deal man um let's see yeah. here that's that's impressive so yeah dude that's that's really good news um yeah question eric does it make you want to get any into any of these series that are new slash being um, rebooted? Um, because if, I, if you got comiXology them, i would probably if you got comiXology you can just pay two bucks every like every month if Not you're bad. just one series and there I you go would. So Probably. yeah, you should look into that. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm seriously gonna really yeah gonna be following these Good dates. God. I'm gonna be following these dates because I really want to get into them as soon as I, they release. I might. Yeah, dude. We should we should both get into Green Arrow at least. <laughs> and I don't know, one other or something like I I, I <laughs> cyborg maybe cyborg that'd be interesting. But then again, there's also ugh, there's a lot of them that I would like to get into. But if I could only do two, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try right. and get into Green Arrow and Teen Titans. I, that'll yeah 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 yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm excited. I think that happens sometime in June. So be on the lookout. Right now it's in February, so we got a ways to go. Got right. Like four five months, but you know. Um. Let's see here. Uh, Assassin's Creed, this is a really quick one. Assassin's Creed Rogue is coming to PC. Yeah. I don't know. If you Um, didn't get to play it on past consoles, that's actually pretty good. I didn't play it on past consoles. I still won't play it because he's a Templar. Freaking piece of crap. I might might buy it now that it's on PC because there's no way. I don't know. Yeah, Rogue is like regarded as a better game than unity though <laughs> yeah <laughs> which is sad but it's probably true the truth but uh it i don't know man it's yeah got... it's coming out march 10th you cool. can pre-order it on steam oh okay cool eric with the bucks. eric with the stats wait 50 yeah 50 bucks. Ooh, awesome that's cool 50 and bucks you can instead also of 60 rogue deluxe for 60 oh okay that's really cool but what the frick Received a friend request yeah. on PlayStation, but um, yeah, I if if it wasn't centered around around an assassin that turned into a Templar, I would not be. If it wasn't centered around that, I would totally be into it. Like the gameplay mechanics are basically AC4, which I've said AC4 is the pinnacle of gameplay mechanics, and AC Revelations is the pinnacle of gameplay story. That's yeah. why I was so excited for Unity because the Revelations writing team was on it. And then the stinking, mm-hmm. I thought they would take over what they learned from past games and put it into Unity, but <laughs> they didn't. So I, I'm i very, I'm so, you know, to be honest, I'm a little sad about what that series has become. It is a hit or miss when an Assassin's Creed comes out every year. It's like, I'm a huge fan of the series, but I'm like, Am I? But this upcoming year, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna get it, of course. But it's like, 
And is it going to be good? Or is it going to be a, is it going to be a good game or is it going to be a piece of crap game? You don't you never know. You don't yeah. know anymore. We're like two through most people don't like this. Most people don't like three, but I like three. So two through four was great. It was it was great. And four had yeah. some problems, but it was still pretty good. Mechanically, it was the best of the series. But Unity was bad, and Rogue was sort of... And they seem to just be recycling stuff. And I don't know. Right. Take a couple... Of, like, take a couple of years off. Like, you know, freaking... Think of a new concept. What what they do with GTA. Just take a bunch of years off or whatever and just craft a really awesome game so that people are yearning for a new AC. And when they get it, it's the best of the series, you know? Yep. I, I'd be down with that. I'd be okay wait, if it's a better right. game. So, I don't know. Whatever. It's not like we're going to be out of But game. they're not going to do that because, like they say, if you keep buying them, we'll keep making them, so... Yeah, which is dumb. We're buying them to see if it's good or not. <laughs> yeah, stinking. I don't know. I thought you should know. It makes me sad. I have been invited to the Holy Church of John. Papa John. On Steam. Gabby uh, had a Snapchat about that. Yeah, I that. saw that. Oh my but, gosh. And I was invited to the Holy C Church congratulations. of Papa John. Congratulations. He has wings and a halo and there's a <laughs> in his hand. I was invited by Papa John himself. <laughs> oh my god! I love Papa John. Senpai noticed me. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, congratulations. Have fun. Uh, I, John, I don't man. know what you do in the Church of Papa John's. I don't know. Sing about pizza. Have fun with that. I don't, I don't know. But um, let's see here. Do you want to talk about any of your any of your topics? Oh. Because I only have a few left. Walking Dead tonight. Oh my gosh! Yes, dude. It's been so long yes. that we've had like a really gritty show besides the 100. Lol. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> the 100 is so. Yeah, actually, yeah, no, I think our 100 is probably worse. <laughs> I, I, I've been saying that this whole time. Like, I tweeted, I've tweeted this like two or three times where I'm just like, if you like The Walking like, yeah. Dead, you need to watch The 100. Right. It's more gruesome and mm -hmm. it's a cooler concept, to be totally honest. Yeah. The Walking it, Dead is really an is. awesome concept, but, you know. We've had it for yeah. many years. I still love it, and I'm very and excited. And the, the, the 100 is really fresh. So. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, dude. I really like the 100. Once once The Walking Dead is back, we will have all of our shows going mm -hmm. again, except for, you know, That's the, Doctor ones, Who. the ones that ended, like, Doctor Who and Korra. <laughs> Korra what is even happening in forever. Doctor Who? It's, like, totally off my charts. Doctor right? Who is, like, in a weird time schedule thing. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, I don't. I, I wish it's hard to keep track of it if it's just like this erratic. And how many how many episodes were in the season? I I feel like it was eight. It was not many. <laughs> That's why yeah. when you said it was the season premiere, I was like, or it's season, the mid season premiere, uh, right? And you're yeah. like, no, season finale or yeah, finale. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, why is it? The and it was a finale when I watched it. It's like, yeah, this looks like a finale. You still haven't seen it, so. No, yeah. I still haven't seen it. I don't know why. I need to do that. Let's see here. It was season eight, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm scrolling down. There were 12 episodes in season eight. It's really short. That is a really short season. And I don't even know why. It threw me off because I'm like, now what? We're going to wait for Christmas? And <laughs> Honestly, like you said, it was the season finale. And I was like, mid-season, right? No, season. Yeah, I was really confused myself. It's like, done. Season. So was the season finale it just it's over 12 episodes yeah i don't uh, know it was getting really weird i don't know yeah i like peter capaldi though i really do peter i like Capaldi's him amazing, so. yeah i like i like the whole style change but i i just i don't know i i, I it, it sort of lost my interest and i haven't and now it's been so long since i've seen any that it's like it's like go. It's like when I stopped playing Skyward Sword for like a month, and I tried to go back, and I didn't remember <laughs> anything. When that's how I feel right now with Doctor Who, I yeah. will go back because it's nowhere near as complex as freaking Skyward Sword. But right. that's that's where I am. I'm like, I don't really know if I want to go back. But I'll, yeah. I'll spend like next Saturday or something like that, and I'll just watch the two or whatever. Um. Yeah. So yeah, Walking Dead's tonight. Walking Dead. So excited. 
Awesome uh, we stuff. get to continue after after um, when it's back. We'll, we'll have, have the last. Walking Dead. Beth died. Yeah, Beth died. We're gonna have to deal with that. We're gonna be that sad. Yeah. Dang, freaking, um, the stranger <laughs> from Destiny. Gosh dang, Lauren Cohen is gonna be sad. Gosh dang it. The stranger from Death Note. Destiny. Oh, Destiny. Uh, I thought you said from Death Note, and I was like, no. was there a character called The Stranger? And I was, like, <laughs> racking okay. my mind. I was like, maybe there was just literally some stranger that was played by Lauren Cohan. <laughs> there was just, like, one dude that died oh. in episode one. And they... <laughs> no. But, uh, yeah, you know, dude. And, uh, Maggie, and Morgan. Gonna... Morgan's on their trail. Morgan. Which, mm-hmm. honestly, that's probably the thing I'm most excited for for the rest of the yeah. season. But, so um, Morgan was came from like a caring father dude to like some insane guy, and now he's like he's following him. Go, yeah, he's walking. Just follow. Yeah, yeah. That's that's pretty much it. Just walking. Not a big deal. Walking. He, he'll he'll get there eventually. Oh, oh, the spinoff <laughs> show. No. Um. Uh, we'll so yeah, the Walking Dead's coming tonight. Be excited. Let us know what you guys thought of it. Let's I see. I can't wait to hear that. That music, that intro music. Oh, yeah. The the... <laughs> yeah, that was my best rendition of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, dude, that's nowhere near as intense as the freaking 100s intro. Like, the one Yeah, the 100s is like. It's even. It's like that, but it's like louder and it's on a yeah. mountain and it's just. <laughs> it's the intro going is off. Awesome yeah, dude, the most recent episode, they were like dousing Bellamy spoilers with chemicals and he's like. Yeah. Ah! And they like, they like Shriek. murfed the scream into the boom of the intro, so it was like, ah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh! And I didn't even realize the intro was coming, and it like his scream was getting louder and louder until just like boom. And... Yeah, it's so good. There's they have really the good like, uh, sound and engineering. But yeah, once once the Walking Dead is back, which it will be in a couple of hours, yeah. we'll have the Walking Dead, Flash, and One Hundred. Oh, also, yeah. we can talk about um, Arrow. Arrow was better. Supernatural as well. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, Arrow was... Uh... Laurel is getting better. Laurel yeah, was the Laurel biggest problem improving. of... Improving. Yeah. Nice. Beat her up. Yeah. Her yeah. Up. Uh, to be honest, it's weird to say this, but it's awesome mm. when they're in a fight scene and Roy is fighting and he's like... Psh! fighting off one dude, but she's going mm-hmm. to the next, and then it cuts to Laurel, and her and this one guy are going at it, and she hits him in the face, and then she, he just goes, Psh, in her face. And it's like, wow. yeah, it's great. It's great to see that they're at least showing that she's not like some boss all of a sudden. At least they're keeping yeah. it that she's constantly getting beat up. But yeah. I don't know. It's getting better, and it's making more sense. Don't know how Oliver's still alive. We'll We'll get – we'll learn one day. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. I really hope so, because it's kind of stupid that they would just overlook that. But whatever. Um, the Flash was really good too. I'm going over these really quickly because we have a bunch of topics still left, and like about 30 minutes. Well, left some of these show. things we can just like mention, talk about it for like a minute, and move on. Yeah. So. <coughs> oh gosh. Another way right now. Red Velvet Oreos. That's amazing. They're, they're a thing. Have you had them? No. Oh, okay, dude. But I'm sure they're amazing. Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen them. I've seen them out in the wild too. I saw them at a Publix, really? and I was like, Dang. ooh, but I didn't get them. I don't know. Yeah. I don't normally. I mean, red velvet stuff is all right, but it's not like. I'm not like Whoa, red velvet. Yeah, man. neither am I. But like, you really don't see. No one sees red velvet Oreos. Yeah, Oreos. The 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 people. Over at the Oreo plant are really coming up with some crazy stuff. Yeah. I, I really hope they don't we're take gonna, it, like, ask. even more extreme and make chocolate. it, like, like I don't know, pizza. Yeah, they, have, they already have chocolate. Pizza. pizza. Like, I hope they don't do stuff like that because that would be, that'd be gross. Well, they could, but it would be, like, bread instead of chocolate cookies. <laughs> well, then it just come, becomes a whole other thing, you know? Right, exactly. Yeah. It would be an Oreo. <laughs> yeah, it would be an Oreo. So let's see. I'm sure they've already done peanut butter, but anyway. <laughs> Probably. Um, so th- were you watching the Dice Awards? Because no. I wasn't. <laughs> I realized I was playing... Don't even know what I was playing. 
playing something nice with Ryan. I think I was probably just playing Destiny with Ryan. And we, uh, I was looking, I looked over. Oh, wait, no. I think I was playing solo, just playing Transistor. I don't know. Yeah. And I looked over, and I was looking at Twitter, and people were just tweeting about the Dice Awards. And I'm like, all right, can't even watch that like online, though. It's, it's on TV. So, no. No. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an acronym. If I... Yeah, I think I think I don't know. I don't know what it stands for, but it's a thing. They awarded a bunch of stuff. We can go through the uh, categories, and I was watching somebody else go through the categories, and <laughs> they did some weird stuff in their awards. But some, most of it makes sense, but some of it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So this is for 2014. Eric, start us off. If you have the article open, I'm going to drink some I water. I do. I have the list of winners right up here. Uh, what? So, Adventure Game of the Year? Yeah. Middle Earth, Shadow <laughs> of Mordor. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, look at that and think about it for a second. Adventure Game of the Year, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. <clears throat> Does that make any sense? Uh, well. Adventure Game. I could i mean i can't think of any other adventure game besides infamous they're not adventure games dude you're missing the point that's not an adventure game think of an adventure game think of an action uh, game and then think of an adventure game think okay. of the genres of what they are Uncharted is an adventure game no it's and not oh my gosh do you not know what adventure means no you don't know when what you oh an my adventure. gosh dude you you're you're no that's not, but Boring. you do go on an adventure, but that's not what an adventure game is. An adventure game is a genre. An adventure game is The Walking Dead. It's Grim Fandango. It's freaking Broken Age. It's, it's literally, let me define adventure game. Because that's the problem with that, is that that's not what the hiss. The thing is, I agree with it. <laughs> well, but not that it's the best adventure game of the year. That's not, uh -huh. but that's not what an adventure game is, dude. It's an open world adventure. It's an open world action game. It's not adventure. Like, that's not in the title. The term adventure game originates from the 1970s text computer game adventure. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to know that. Um, components of an adventure game. Puzzle solving or problem solving. Narrative or interactive story. When you think of that, you think of Telltale. That's, Telltale makes adventure games. That's their genre. Uh, a lot of... Adventure games, I, I would call adventure games stuff like, uh, Ratchet and Clank, and but that's not an adventure game. That's a third-person shooter I, platformer. I, I, that's Tiger, and Jack. That's not an, those, those aren't adventure. Adven those adventure. are not adventure games. Those are not adventure games. I thought yes, you'd be adventure. on me with this because oh, I, you're you know about video games. But everyone knows what an adventure game is. Yeah, and you I don't. Just <laughs> That that's not what they are. That's what, that's what the, no. the whole consensus is. Everyone knows Essential, this. The whole consensus. The whole <laughs> consensus. I can't even say the word. What the frick? <laughs> the frick, dude. I blanked out. What the? F I, I'm not even gonna try and say the word again. I guess. Um, <sighs> essential elements of the genre include storytelling, exploration, and puzzle solving. Adventure games have been described as puzzles embedded in a narrative framework. These are Telltale games. This is Grim Fandango. Yeah. That's an adventure game. Ratchet and Clank is a platformer. It's a third-person platformer. Action game. Like, literally, look up Ratchet and Clank and look at the, uh, look at the Wikipedia page and see what it describes it as. Okay. I'm curious. I mean, Wikipedia is... Isn't super reliable, but it's re reliable enough. Let's see. They they just they define Ratchet and Clank as platform. Yeah, platform game. So, I thought you'd be on me with this, but I guess I'll explain it. You know, adventure game is a telltale game. It's a it's a narrative thing yeah, that you have to complete game. puzzles to move on. Mm -hmm. For that is an adventure game. Um. Uncharted is an is a third person action shooter, as that is what it is. But uh, yeah. So Middle Earth: Shadow of Mordor is a third person open world single player action action adventure is a different genre than adventure. 
So I guess I can sort of see why they gave it, but it's not an it's not an adventure game. Is there an action game of the year? Yeah, there is. They gave it to Destiny. It's not an action game. That's a freaking shooter. Whatever. <laughs> um, family it's game of the year. Dexter is an action adventure. So. Uh... Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But adventure game, just specifically adventure game, is referencing a puzzle, point and click type of thing, type of dealio. So, the more you know. There you go. They gave back to the Dice Awards after that little uh, spat. Fiasco. Fiasco. Yeah, that's a good word for it. Let's see. <laughs> they gave Mobile Game of the Year to Hearthstone, which is a good choice yeah. right there. Handheld Game of the Year to Super Smash Bros. 3DS. Um, that's interesting because that's also a console game, but, you know, whatever. Right. Um, I would think they'd choose, like, I don't know, Mario Golf or something. Um, <clears throat> you know what's interesting about this is that <coughs> Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor has tons of awards. Yeah. But it didn't get Game of the Year. Let me yeah, count. Yeah, Dragon one. Age got Game of the Year. There are at least eight. There might be nine. I think there's eight Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor awards, but it didn't get Game of the Year. It cleaned up. Outstanding achievement in animation went to Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Outstanding achievement in art met, went to Monument Valley. I don't know what that is. I didn't play that. Outstanding technical achievement was Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Outstanding achievement in online is Destiny, which I completely agree with that. Because it's one of the only games that came out as like an online type game this year. And worked pretty mm -hmm. stinking well. Um, yeah. At least the online aspect. Um, RPG slash MMO game of the year is Dragon Age Inquisition. Strategy game of the year is Hearthstone. All of these I agree with except for the first one. Um, and best action game. I think they should have given that to, to something else other than yeah. Destiny. Um, outstanding achievement in music composition, Destiny. I agree. Outstanding achievement in sound design, Destiny. Okay. Sound can... design... Action game of the year can be Destiny because yeah, the gameplay of it is really yeah, good. It's action, but well, um, yeah, Destiny is an action are, game, but yeah, I think the best action game this be year like, would be Destiny. also. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, dude. Also, there's no shooter category on here. You're right. You see that? There's no. I like. I feel like Destiny would go in shooter, and action game would be one of the action games like. Yeah. Like AC Unity is an action game. Far Cry is an action game. But uh, Far Cry is also a shooter. It counts, mm -hmm. but I feel like there'd be a separate category for shooter. Right. Um, Outstanding name in motion in gaming. Should've... Okay, yeah. Yeah. They Shadow of the, Border. Uh, <laughs> they have the um, Nemesis system. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, dude, definitely. Sports game of the year, FIFA 15. A lot of people like could, FIFA. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people like it. I, I don't play it, but a lot of people seem to enjoy it. Producing game of the year. Mario Kart 8. Mm -hmm. Lots of... I bet a lot of Forza fans are really upset with that. Or Forza, or whatever, however you say it. Forza Horizon came out. And a lot of people really like that game. People that play racing games. Let's see here. Fighting game of the year. Super Smash Bros. Wii U. Which is... Did any other fighting games really even come out this year or last year? Yeah. Um. I don't think so. I think it was just Smash Bros. Yeah. Just Smash Bros. So it automatically goes there. Action Game of the yeah. Year, Destiny. Sprite Award. Whatever the heck. Like sprite. Drink, right? Yeah, Sprite the Drink awards their award to Transistor. Yeah. Um, like I imagine the Sprite CEO coming out in like a a green suit that has like the bubbles yeah. all on it. <laughs> it's like, hey, let's have a cheers. Look under your seat, everybody. There's a bottle of Sprite. <laughs> no, everybody pulls out the Sprite, turns yeah. into a giant Sprite commercial. Um, <laughs> out and then the last two outstanding achievement in game design, Shadow of Mordor. Outstanding achievement in game direction, Shadow of Mordor. And then game of the year. Dragon Age Inquisition. 
So yeah. that doesn't really make much sense. It doesn't sense. really add up. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't it doesn't add up very well. It's like, oh Shadow of Mordor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Shadow of Mordor everywhere then oh Dragon Age, we'll t- we'll take the number one spot even though you were sure. ahead in all of the it's like you're playing Mario Kart and you're ahead in every race, but then and Dragon Age is there, but it's you know it's down on like eighth place every race, and then at when the final screen comes up, it's just like oh here's yeah. Dragon Age number one, <laughs> and the the guy <laughs> playing, <coughs> mm, the guy playing Shadow of Mordor is like, what the heck man I was first in every race, <laughs> bullcrap, I'm suing you Nintendo and taking all your money. All right. Escalated really quickly there. Pursuing Nintendo and taking all their money. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Eric, you should discuss something because I need chug water because my voice is leaving. All right. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, let's see. We already talked about Walking Dead. Um, apparently they... <coughs> announced freaking mall cop 2 which is interesting um <clears throat> what did you hear me no i said um no. i said apparently they um apparently uh re- announced mall cop 2 yeah i, I saw that <laughs> which i don't know how to feel about that a lot of people hate it but i was like I don't know. Mock I, up I, I laughed a few right. times. Yeah. I, I laughed a few times. Yeah. It, it, it's humorous. <laughs> it wasn't like stellar or anything, but it was <laughs> stupid I, funny. I don't know. I don't know, man. Anything with <laughs> Kevin James in it, I'm okay with. <laughs> that guy's great. Dude, you know, I watch an episode of Boy Meets World every night, and yeah. it comes on ABC Family. So when I'm skipping commercials, or sometimes I watch the commercials because I'm too lazy to skip. The, there they show commercials for Hitch coming on ABC Family. Oh, it makes gosh. me happy because I freaking love Hitch. That movie's great. I need to like finish <laughs> watching that commercial and be figure out when they're playing it and have it on my DVR. Yeah. <laughs> um. So... Oh, I should talk about Supernatural fast. Oh, yeah. So, last night I stayed up pretty late and I watched a uh, Supernatural newest episode. <laughs> I sent you guys a clip. Did you, did you watch it, Teddy? Yeah, it's, it was it was pretty funny. It was pretty dang okay. funny. Oh, I just love they put so many references to other like entertainment in the world. It just makes it worth watching on and on. And sometimes, like they'll have stuff that goes along with the story line or the plot line, and sometimes a, one episode will just be the regular old hunting down some monsters nothing uh to do with crazy stuff going on plot line they just kind of do stuff and kill monsters hmm. and it's it's awesome because it's just it reminds me of <laughs> reminds me of the first three seasons and it's mm-hmm. awesome yeah that ad that uh that video was it's, it's, pretty, I, I, it's pretty great i laugh my face off it's, uh, pretty, it's pretty great I'm not gonna like... <laughs> yeah basically what happened to people who, who haven't seen um, the video or the Supernatural episode. Basically what happened was like, they're in the car and they're talking about something and then he just turns on the radio and it's Taylor Swift shake it off and, like, and then they both just sort of look at each other and they're like, yes, one guy was like, was like, like yeah, he was disgusted and then the other one was like, was like, <laughs> and he's like, he's, <laughs> it was like a 20, 25 second clip though. So it yeah. took a while. He, he sat there. He's like, no words were said. But that's why the water was so great. He's like, yeah. and then they turned it up and they drove off. <laughs> pretty it good. Was pretty great. So yeah, yeah, supernatural. If I don't know, if you have like a month, just binge watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Binge watch it. I don't have you, a month. You need something to watch. Yeah, you have the 10 I, seasons. I'm sure. tempted to do that during the summer. I might do that during the summer. Yeah. because that's one of the best oh. times to binge watch stuff. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm thinking. Uh, How much time do we have left? We have about 15 minutes left. All right. You know I'll... something that we didn't cover at the beginning is what we've been playing. Yeah. At all. We've played a lot. We'll eventually games. get... I don't know what's up. 
in the most recent episodes, I've been like slacking on the intros, right. but oh. uh, early on, I was I was like on it, but I've been forgetting lately because I'm like just so chill. I'm just like, let's talk about right. what we got here. But hey, it's at least, at least we're doing it. We, we just, yeah, we've been playing stuff. If you've made it this far, besides out. Destiny, yeah, uh, we've been playing <laughs> other stuff other than Destiny. Destiny uh, doesn't count, <laughs> no. no. But so uh, well, first yeah. of all, we have been playing Destiny, of course. We yeah. got all of our stuff done. Eric yeah, we now sure has sure. Eric now has three thirty twos because no the game loves him. Yeah, and I am still waiting for a chess piece or a helmet on my hunter and warlock. So You're gonna get your thirty twos before me though, because I still need hydronic essence. <laughs> no. You can get that easily. You just gotta, yeah. you just gotta be rock strikes. Perseverance. <laughs> but anyway, uh, what was it? Friday or so... we we got oh, dying. Friday. Yeah, Friday. So yeah, Dying Light. Me. It's amazing. Me, Eric, and Ryan all picked it up. Endless fun. It's really good. And when you level up in that game, it's such it's so awesome because you're like, oh, what am I gonna get next? What cool power? Am I gonna... Yeah, that game. <laughs> I like when games do that where they just blindside you. Like this is February, you know. This there are usually some games around here, but and also I think it came out technically in January, like. Actually, let me look, so I don't misquote that. Dying Light release date. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> it came out on late January. So, like, games that blindside you like this are awesome. Like, I was just right. playing all my games that I got for holiday and sort of exhausted with... No, I'm not exhausted with any of them. But, you know, I had been playing them for a while. And then this random game that, like... Yeah. This game everyone's that positive reviews mm, everywhere. Yeah, there wasn't too much hype before it came out, but then when it came out, everyone's like, "This is really fun." So I was like, "Yeah, oh. they're really good." And then so like, we okay. we should jump on this, and it's like seriously, it's, no. yeah, it's really good. It's really good. It's yeah. huge. Like, there's so much to do. Me and Ryan and Eric aren't playing like without each other, so we're just gonna yeah. get on every night and just yeah. keep going with the campaign. I can't, honestly, cannot imagine. Playing it by myself. I I'm can, sure. but... I mean, I can see why, but I feel like having that experience with a friend is really fun. Yeah, it's cool. I I could see playing solo, but... Yeah. I might I do know. another run after we beat it, just to see if I can explore more. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, after we beat the main story, I'm going to keep going on side quests and whatnot, even without well, you yeah. guys, maybe. I, I'll, I'll probably still do it with you guys without yeah. not solo, but... I mean, of course, there's matchmaking too. Yeah, yeah. So let's Shareable, see. Whatever that does. Um, let's see here. But anyway, so we've been playing Destiny, Dying Light. Uh, um, Nazgoth. Nazgoth. Oh yeah, yeah. that blindsided us. We saw Nate. Yeah, we on. saw Nate get on Nazgoth, and we're like, Nate. "Why is he playing Nazgoth instead of The What's Last Nazgoth? of Us?" Yeah. And we we instantly like went honestly on Steam to see I, what it was. yeah we went on Steam to see what it we were was a little pessimistic about it because like a weird name and the description of it sounds really free to play stupid. and then <laughs> but it turned out pretty cool yeah it's a it's, good PvP game yeah it's a good PvP game you have to like stick together to have any sort of hope for success but it's right. it's really I don't know it's it's quite fun uh it's basically like yeah. humans versus vampires there's two rounds. And yeah, see, and humans versus vampires, that sounds kind of dumb. But once yeah, you does. play it, it's 4v4. You have to stick together. You be, The hunters have to get in a spot where they can see all the entrances and exits and whatnot so that yeah. they don't get ganked on and picked off by all the vampires. Right. And the hunters, of course, have, like, guns. And the vampires are, Crossways like... And the, and... Yeah. And the vampires are, like, basically just really sort of powerful monsters type thing where you can, yeah. like, climb walls and then you can is, smack uh, and then you can pounce. It's kind of like Left 4 Dead 2 where you can yeah. play as uh, the monsters. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty similar. So there's, yeah, there's two rounds. You either get to 30 kills or 10 minutes runs out, and then you switch sides, basically. Like, you start right. as a hunter or a so vampire, have... and then you switch to a hunter or a vampire. And then I mean, whoever has the most kills by the end of kills. the... Uh, yeah. yeah, whichever team has the most kills by the end of the game wins. Round. So, like, well, by the end of the two rounds, 
Yes. Yeah, it like adds up. So you can get you like you can lose the first round and still win the game. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. But uh it's really fun. Nate, still play the freaking Last of Us. You're stupid hey. for playing Nazgoth and the last and League before the Last <laughs> of Us. But whatever. Dude, so everyone hears this talk about wanting to get Nate on the show. Well, if anyone watches this. <laughs> yeah. So we talk about it a lot. We talk about how Nate should be on the show. Basically, what me and Eric have decided is that Nate is still welcome. He's still welcome on the show. Mm-hmm. He's still welcome to play games with us. But we don't think he wants to anymore. We don't know yeah. why. But it's just the case. Like, we told him he bought The Last of Us. So we thought he was actually going to maybe play console games. Nope. Yeah. Really? And, I mean, it's really? fine. We can play PC games with him. But then we've tried to play PC games with him. We yeah. did it two days where we got on that Skype and called him. And we're it. like, hey, man, let's play Nazgoth. <laughs> and he didn't even respond. But he was on Steam <laughs> playing really something. So he's just and ignoring his us. His schedule is free. His yeah, stuff. he said his schedule was free. But now he's ignoring us. So. Yeah, hey, if you want to play something, if you want to be Work, on the podcast, dude, let us know. Let's play games with you. Let us know. But right now. We're kind of like discounting him because he won't respond to us or play anything <laughs> with us. So we're kind of like, thanks, bro. But yeah. if you if you want to, let us know. We'd love to. Yeah. But for now, we're just like trying to forget. It's sad. It's very <laughs> sad. Just looking off into the distance. But <laughs> it, yeah. yeah. So I don't see him being on the podcast anytime soon. So yeah. Um, Nazgoth. Um, Planet Side. Two. Yeah, Eric. Eric played Planet Side Two with Jared I've been with, a, bo- with a bunch. Jared a lot. I played one. It's actually night. really fun. I kind of was doubtful because I thought it was just gonna be like stupid, dying all the time and stuff. But if you do good, you uh, can wreck face. Meh. I, I I still am not a fan of it. I mean, I, I mean, don't hate it. Fun, but, yeah, uh, I had fun because I was messing so around and blowing up vehicles. Yeah, right. And... <laughs> but like, I can never like play it like you know legit you know try harding because it's just too big but it's fun well uh, you you have the i don't feel like i'm doing anything syndrome (laughs) i do i do yeah which i can understand when there's that many people it feels like you're not doing you're not putting a dent in their forces yeah which is the same thing in battlefield which is understandable so yeah but um Let's see. So David Ramsey, the star on the the star of Arrow. No, but the um, <laughs> the one of the one of the main actors, uh, he plays Diggle on Arrow. Yes. People always have this theory that his name is John Diggle, and people are. It's something like that. People call him yeah. Diggle, but people also call him John. So. People always say that, like, Diggle's his middle name, and his last name is Stewart, so it could be John <laughs> Stewart, the Green Lantern, but, <laughs> but uh, which honestly would be interesting. Let's see if I can find the quote. He actually said that they were looking into it, which is very interesting. Like, interesting. They, they, yeah, they said that they weren't counting it out. They were, they might, like, he doesn't know if it's going to happen or not, but... The people at the uh, studio, the higher ups than him, are talking yeah. about it. So. so it's it's there in the air. Yeah, it's like it's to... possible. <laughs> I will trust whatever they do, but to be honest, I'm not sure if it's the best idea. Mm, yeah. Because like Cause Arrow, Arrow's been, it's really just been practical stuff. Yeah, so. and then like, if they did Green Lantern, Green Lantern is such a thing on its own that it would have to split off and do a spinoff. Yeah. Right, and that's just. Or maybe join Flash. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. No, that wouldn't work because there's too much focus on Barry. So I stuff. found the article. Let's see. It would have to be its own spinoff, but then yeah. it, it it would just. I don't want Diggle to leave. You know, he works right. so well where he is. Let's see. Uh, Ramsey quoted. Is John Diggle John Stewart? Question mark. I cannot say yes and then cannot say no. Ramsey revealed that there has been some discussion between Mark Guggenheim and Greg Berlanti and Andrew Kreisberg, who are all like the creators and writers and all that. They're, they're the big heads behind Arrow and Flash. Um, yeah. 
he says uh, he talked to them about the possibility of Ramsey playing Jon Stewart on Arrow, but clarifies that he's only been told we're working on some stuff and insists that if anything is going on with Stewart, it's top secret. If that's the case, it's going to be huge. This is the stuff that they want to avoid. I think they don't want anybody to know yet, and they haven't even told me. <laughs> they have told me that they are thinking about it and that they are considering it. Greg Berlanti told me that Andrew and Mark have told me that. I haven't spoken to Jeff Johns about it yet, but that's the word from people directly involved in Arrow, that they're working on something. Oh, huh. snap. Let's see. I want to find the part that he said. So Ramsey also, he also is very familiar with the John Stewart character, so he thought it'd be awesome to play him. Yeah. He says, however, Ramsey is unsure how Green Lantern's power would fit into Oliver Queen's world, saying the Arrow universe is so rooted in kind of grounded reality, if you will. However, real people with a bow and arrow can be. I read that wrong, but whatever. I don't know how a thought-based weapon fits into that world. I don't know how that fits into Arrow. That's what we were saying. It doesn't really right. work that well. Yeah, I, I agree. I trust them though. If they did it, they would find a, ma- a way to make it work. Right. So, I don't know. Um, this kind of is all the time we have <laughs> for now. Like I yeah. have to get going. I have to get this rendering, and then when we come, when when I get back for after the Walking Dead, Eric, we'll play Dying Light. <laughs> so yep. yeah, let us know in the comments what's up with you. Let us know what you're playing. Let us know what you think about all this news. Let us know if you're playing Dying Light, how you like it. Let us know about the DC Comics, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Let us know how to improve the podcast, other than the obvious stuff like me not forgetting the intro. It won't happen next week. Next week, it's going to be, like, such a legit intro. I'm tossing that out (laughs) there right now, so get hyped. We should get, like, a legit intro with music and fancy. Just the Sonic X theme song at 2 speed. (laughs) <laughs> gotta go fast. Yep. You gotta go fast. That's what it's gonna be. No. I I don't know, man. I don't know what it's gonna be, but next week it's gonna be legit. Just keep yeah. keep on the lookout for that. Yeah. Maybe I'll come in just like a freaking hype man with like air horns and, and like a sunglasses yeah. and like strobes. What's up everybody? <laughs> oh man, that's here for the next podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we're doing this. But uh thanks for watching. Leave yeah. some feedback. Yo. Do you have anything random? Uh, yes, I have the spoon. Oh, it's, an unused... it's all in color. <laughs> it's in er- Eric's color Dairy scheme. Spoon. Oh man. Oh, that that is that is legit. I don't have anything green. Oh, green Nalgene bottle. Get red. <laughs> what? <laughs> and it goes with my favorite color. It's my favorite color. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, do your dailies. Do your yeah. weeklies. Do your raids. Get exotic. uh, We'll see you guys next time. Exotic life.